bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My other desire for this church is that everybody here will go to heaven. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Mercy Ezekiel. I welcome you to the hour of grace. And I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Victorious handover. Psalm 137. If you have seen it, say yes. Before we read, let me ask you. Have you received any handover from him? Did he hand anything over to you? Huh? You know that you pray for it and you believe that something has been handed over to you. Say amen. If you have not or you don't know you will receive this money. Yeah. Psalm 137, victorious handover. George, read from verse 1 to 5. By the rivers of Babylon, here we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our hearts upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required us a son. And they that wasted us required of us men. Say, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her calling. Maybe you don't know why we read this psalm. I was thinking and meditating on the whole issue. I said, God, how can we thank you? Many of you who have not seen war may not understand. Before you sit down, say, Jesus, thank you. Jesus, you. you can be seated. Victorious handover. Two days ago, we witnessed the ceremony of handing over. But that is not the, 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 the moment the whole thing was handed over. It was done before day before yesterday. We received victorious handover from our Creator. He allowed us to continue to enjoy this nation. It is not everything we should understand. We have to thank Him whether we understand or not. But I want to show you I want to show you 
the handover. I say this handover that happened how many days ago? It's in the Bible. I want to prove it to you. There is nothing you cannot see in the Bible unless it's not revealed. God Almighty is the history controller. He controls history. There is nothing happening that you cannot see in the Bible. Only that sometimes God will conceal it. He will not reveal it. But when he revealed it, he will shout. I want to tell you a few things from this verse. Look at verse 1. Read. By the rivers of Babylon. By what? The rivers. How many rivers? Do you know what it means? That's why you must thank God. If you understand what this verse 1 means, you begin to clap hand and go home. Listen to me, church. Listen to me. God has covered himself with clouds. We can see him. We are just limited. We can see our nose. See what is written here. You don't know that Nigeria is in verse 1. I will show you. <laughs> are you ready? Read again, George. By the rivers of Babylon. Stop. By the rivers. How many rivers? You don't know. By the rivers of what? Babylon. What is Babylon? Follow me. Babylon is world religion. World religion. Babel. Babel. That is the capital of world religion, Babylon. Rivers of Babylon. Rivers flowing. One of these rivers is River Euphrates. And each river has a terrible demon. Religious demon. Babylon. A place of confusion. There will have been a great confusion in this nation. But God says, stop. Rivers of Babylon will flow from north to south, from east to west. Maybe some of us will not come to church today because of that river. But God Almighty said, don't disturb my people. And today we are clapping hands and shouting to him, giving praise. Many things had happened. Not because we are righteous. Not because we pray too much. But because his mercy endureth forever. He is doing certain things because of covenants. Nigerians. Do you know that Nigeria is in the Bible? Huh? Do you know that Nigeria is in the Bible? You don't know. You have not seen it. It's in there. But I have no time now 
But I want to tell you that Nigeria is in the Bible. By the river of Babylon, the capital of world the region, by the rivers, one of them, Euphrates. There, what happened there? Read. There we sat down. <laughs> it is not a question of sitting down. We have been sleeping there by now. Not only sitting down. Many of us will lie down in the mat and begin to sleep. Because no helper. You ever may, may try as a human being, but they can't solve the problem. Nigeria is so large that devil wants to scatter it. A place of religious demons. And from the rivers, the river Euphrates and others. And in these rivers, listen to me, there are some terrible demons which will have scattered Nigeria completely. Do you want to know their names? Huh? Do you want to know their names? What are you going to do with it? Just for knowing sake. You may not believe it. One of the demons in this place is called Abaddon. Abaddon. Another one is Levitans. Terrible, terrible demon. Levitans. They are eight angels of demon, of Satan. In, in River Euphrates, four demons, God locked them up there. If they are loose, not only Nigeria, the whole world will go in pieces. But God said, stay there. I will not allow you to cause riot. Abaddon, Levitan. I will only give you a train. Go and study the other one by yourself. But the third one is something else. Do you know the third one? Rehab. Rehab, that Rehab you, you know, is name of a demon, monster. Even though somebody is answering Rehab. That shows you that God can make a snake to be a child. He has the power to change stone to be a child. Rehab means monster. From here you get some small, small demons like Kode, Kod. Is there any Cordelia here? Your name is Cordelia. It's not a good name. It's from fish. Some of you are eating stockfish. There's a stockfish they call Cod. How many of you know that? Uh huh. Give me cards. You can eat it. But I just want to tell you scripturally what that thing means. These are demons in that area. And they put people of Israel in that area. They put them there by the rivers of Babylon. When they put them there, what did they tell them? Read verse 2. Read. Yeah, we wept when we remember Zion. Huh? We wept when we remember Zion. We do what? We wept. Wept. Why will you not weep? 
when you are dumped in the jurisdiction of demons, where religious demons are having their time, they work. Why are they weeping? Read. We hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. They hang their guitar. They hang their instruments of music there. They hang it. They won't play it again. Seize. For dear, they that carried us away captive. For dear, everybody say dear. For dear, they that do what? Carried us away. Captive. Carry us away. Dear, they camp us. Dear, they that carry us away. They handed over something to us. They carried them away saying to what to them? Read. Required of us a song. They required from them a song. Their guitar was hung somewhere. And they required a song. What kind of song? The song one of the songs of Zion. Zion there means church. Sing us one of those choruses. Sing us Hallelujah chorus. Sing us one of those songs. Ah. Victorious handover. If you leave the devil alone in Nigeria, something will have happened. Even today, some strange songs is going on. They required of us. Finish your reading, my brother. They that wasted us. They that wasted us. Mark that word. Wasted us. They wasted us. Huh? Required of us a man. They required of us a music. Huh? Say, say it. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Sing us one of those songs of Zion. By the rivers of Babylon. Uh -huh. How shall we sing? Question. How shall we sing? Sing what? The Lord's song in a strange the land. The Lord's song in a strange what? Pause there. Listen to me. How shall we sing? The Lord's song in a strange land. A place that is demonized. How shall we sing Jeremy in a place of worship? How can we sing these demonic songs? Polluted with demons from the rivers of Babylon. How can we sing God's song in the strange land? It's a strange thing. Strange thing has happened in this nation. And we can see it. Thank God for the government's past. They wanted us to do a strange thing in this nation. There was a time they say, man, 
can marry a man. They brought it to the House of Parliament to pass. But they refused it, not because they want to leave. They want to uh, leave it like that. But because God answered prayer. How can we do such a thing? Devil wanted us to sing a song of Levitan, of Babylon, in a strange land. How can we do that? God has delivered this nation. God has delivered us. We may not appreciate him because we are not, we are not involved. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our sight. They wanted to hand over to us a terrible demons to rule. But God using some people, they say no. By the rivers of Babylon, the demonic forces gathered us and tell us to sing a song of Zion. In Nigeria today, I don't know, you can bear me witness. We may not fully know what is going on. The spiritual battle that is going on. Who say we should, we should not worship our God in the free land? By the rivers of Babylon, they say we should not pray prayer. We should not sing choruses. We should not even read Bible. By the rivers of Babylon. Where demon is flowing like water. They want to approve lesbianism and homosexualism. But they don't want to approve reading the Bible in the school. They don't want. Uh, I remember Nigeria of my choice. I am of the old school. I senior this nation. In the old school, in elementary school, when we gather together, we assemble in a hall and we open a hymn, sing, and we read Bible. And we pray. But no do, no do, rivers of Babylon came. No more reading Bible in the school. They overturn it. Today, because they stopped it, see what is happening morally. It is a blackness and darkness. By the rivers of Babylon, in this nation. They say we should sing a song of Zion. How can we do that? Sing the song in a strange land. Thank God, I want to tell you what, has hand, what was handed over to us. But something was handed over and I would like you to receive your own this morning. You may not see it, but I want to show you what was handed over to you. 
the head of state or president received a handover note. But that is not the main thing. The main thing happened in the spirit. Believers, something had been handed over to us. And the hand of the enemy is crippled. The leg of the enemy is paralyzed. The idea of the devil is shown off. You may not believe it. But the war is over. We shall begin to experience a new dimension. By the river of Babylon. In 19... 60s or 70s. There was a, a conference of witchcraft people in this Lagos. They met. I told you this. And they say they want, after the meeting, they want 1,500 drums of human blood. And we resisted that. They moved. They moved to Bini. By then, Reverend Nidahosa said, No way! You can't have it here. They moved. And they said, They're coming back again. And when Christians resisted them, they postponed it indefinitely. And we allow that in Zion. Thank God something had been handed over from one party to another party. Now, let me tell you what God has handed over to us. And that is what we are going to work with. Hallelujah. It's not ordinary. They will try to succeed. But he was beating hands down. You don't know the power of prayers until the prayer is answered. I want you to turn to Galatians chapter 5. What was handed over to you Take it. Don't drop it. It's for you and for me. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Read. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit of the Spirit is what? Now, get ready because this is what is handed over to you as a child of God. The fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. Uh -huh. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Long suffering. Long suffering. Gentleness. Gentleness. Goodness. Goodness. Faith. Faith. Meekness. Meekness. Temperance. Temperance. Against such, against such, there is no law. No law. It is divided into three divisions. This handover is divided into three divisions. And there is nothing the devil can do about it. It was handed over by Supreme God to every one of you here. No matter how devil has tried to make you sit at the river of Babylon. The first segment read the three handovers. Love Love, love, joy, joy, 
and peace. And peace. These three handovers is for believers. From henceforth, hatred is gone. Anybody try to hate you is doing himself or herself a harm. Receive this from the spirits. What is handed over to you is love. Joy. And peace. This is for believers. Victorious handover. Take it. This is your own portion. The next segment. Handover. Long suffering. Long suffering. Gentleness. Gentleness. And goodness. And goodness. This is for you too, but not for your own consumption. This handover is to your neighbor. Read it again. Long suffering to those unbelievers living around you. You must suffer long for them. Uh -huh. Gentleness. Gent you must be gentle to them. And goodness. And good, you must be good to them. It is not a question of flag. It's a spiritual matter. Name them again. Long suffering. Gentleness. Long suffering. Long suffering. Long suffering. You know, if you have not received this handover, any paradigm you will retaliate. You will retaliate because no long suffering. Long suffering and what? Gentleness. Gentleness. And goodness. And goodness. Use it for your neighbor. When they provoke you, be gentle. This is for your own good. This second section. The third one is what? Faith. Faith. Meekness. Meekness. And temperance. And temperance. This is another form of meat. We are receiving this handover to the praise and glory of God. You may not know what is going on even now. Devil cannot succeed in this nation. Devil cannot succeed in churches. Devil cannot succeed in your family. Devil cannot succeed in your own life. Never. God has given us victory. He handed over to us the instrument of life. Love. Joy and peace. Every member here, my prayer for everyone is that this will be your experience. Thank God for these gifts. Thank God for his mercy is new every morning. The last three is what? Name it again. Faith, meekness, meekness, 
and temperance. And temperance. Use this to your unbelieving friends. Display your faith. Let them know whom you believe. We are going to pray. Handover is for every one of us. Don't talk about flag. This is not question of flag. This is a spiritual victory. It's a spiritual victory. God has given to us as believers in this nation. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? As many of you who witnessed this thing on Friday, devil will not see your back again. For some time, he will not overcome you. For what happened physically, first of all, happened in the spirit. Thy will be done in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. What happened on Friday, first of all, happened in the spirit. The love is given to you by the impartation of the spirit. Joy. The joy of the Lord will increase in your life. Nehemiah 8 10 said, The joy of the Lord is our strength. That area you feeling weak, you will experience rejuvenation there. Amen. The spirit of weakness will lead you in Jesus' name. Amen. It will not be there. Receive this by faith. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mark it the joy of the Lord, not your own. Happiness is not joy. Happiness is because you are happy because of what is happening around you. But joy is the fruit of the Spirit. It cannot be counterfeited. So as you live here today, you have moved to another zone. Yeah. Victorious handover. God has handed over to you his joy. Yeah. The joy of the Lord is your strength, my brother. It's your strength, my sister. You are not defeated. I say you are not defeated. You are not. That trouble that came to you last week or two weeks ago, that trouble is taken care of. Is taken care of that trouble is taken care of. Because the joy of the Lord has come upon you, and we announce it. I say, when they are receiving political clinical, you receive your own spiritually. And if you have obeyed, so shall it be unto you. Peace. Peace will cover your family. From your head to toe, peace. I will like you by the authority of the word of God to receive this victorious handover. You are being handed over victory today. Love, peace, joy is yours. It's yours. I say it is yours. By the rivers of Babylon, all those demons there, 
you may not know what really happened even now when I was talking these things they were trying to show some resistance if you observe it I am struggling yes I know but I just want to tell you what is happening they are struggling that I cannot say this thing to you but I want to tell you that you are more than a conqueror You are victorious. Abaddon or Levitan or Rehab cannot see you in Jesus' name. By the rivers of Babylon, they can set you there. You will go and sing the song of Zion. You are a Zionist. Sing hallelujah song. Sing hallelujah and give him praise. You will climb a new dimension. You will experience a new dimension. I say to you all, you are more than a conqueror. You are elevated to a new level. Because you can't stay. You can't stay by the river of Babylon. You can't stay. That your business will not be by the side of the river of Babylon. You have moved by the side of Zion. Your family is no more by the rivers of Babylon. You have moved by the side of Zion. Your education is no more by the rivers of Babylon. You have moved to the side of Zion. I am talking to you How can we sing the song of Zion in a strange land? Oh, let me close. Let me close now. Anything that seems strange in your life, anything that seems strange, you don't like it. Right now, they are going. How can we sing the song of Zion in a strange land. I command every strange thing affecting your life, affecting your family, affecting your business. All oh, you strange things, you abandon, you levitate, you rehab, you spirit of demons, you that attack Christians here and there. I adjure you by the authority of Jesus. Get away in Jesus' name. You that is attacking that business. You monster. Rehab. No chance for you in that family. No chance for you in that in that in that business. Get out in Jesus' name. Every spirit that comes from the river of Babylon, they are shattered. They are shattered. Because we can sing the song of Zion in the strange land. Sister, we are free. Brother, you are free. Let us sing the song of Zion in the city of our God. I will call upon you now. If you know that some strange things have been around you, wherever they are, Open your mouth and confess. This strength cannot go with me. Confess it out. Open your mouth. That strength things, that deluding spirit, that spirit of Abaddon, 
depart for we cannot sing the song of Zion. You that come from River Euphrates, depart. You want us to sing the song of Zion in a strange land? How can I? In Jesus' name. Listen. We are going to sing this chorus. What I'm telling you today, you may not understand. That Babel. Spirit of Babylon. All the witches. All the wizards. All the familiar spirits. All the monsters. Any such a spirit warning you now, as we are singing this song, they must go. Everybody stand. There is power, mighty power, mighty power in the blood of Jesus. There is power, there is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of Babylon. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. By the rivers of Babylon. Power. Every there spirit is from power. there. Welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God, which is life. And I know your life will never ever remain the same. After you must have had the word of God, please make best use of the word. Don't let your life be the same again. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Today might be the only day you have. I call you to give your life to Jesus. And if you are sick, you are healed. We'll see you next week. Bye. International Headquarters, Tenant 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Leave outrage, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isikam, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isikam, co pastor, national and international coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters. 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street at Jawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.